guys! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Valerie Spielberg from the blog Blossom and Blush. If you haven't checked it out yet, I will link it down below, but I did an unboxing video of the Grand Hotel Cafe from Too Faced. And so today is just going to be a tutorial on this eye look, which I created with the um, Eggnog Latte Palette. So if you want to see how I did this, keep watching. And yeah, let's jump right in. Okay, first off, I'm just taking this flat brush, going into Frosty Nog, and we're just gonna put that all over the lid uh, to create an even base and a little bit of a brighter base. So from your lash line to your brow bones. Next, we're going to take a fluffy crease brush and go into Skinny Latte and just swipe that all over the crease. Next, we're going to take a small flat brush and go into Ice Coffee. And we're just gonna define the crease a little bit more, so creating sort of a V-shape on the outer corner and also bringing it in in the um, inner third of the eye to sort of create this halo effect. Then we're just gonna take a clean blending brush and just blend out um, all of those shades to make sure everything is smooth and nothing is harsh. Then with a flat shadow brush, we're gonna go into Eggnog Latte and pop that right on the center of the lid to really um, brighten up the eye. Then with an eyeliner brush, we're gonna go into that beautiful green that is Central Perk. And we're just gonna um, roughly line the upper lash. It doesn't need to be perfect. We're gonna smudge it out after. So yeah, just basically try to keep it as close to your lash line as possible and just draw a rough line. Um, then with a clean, fluffy crease brush, we're like barely going to tap into Skinny Latte and just kind of like blend over where we did iced coffee to just create a nice transition and blended look. Then with an angled fluffy brush, we're gently gonna go into Frosty Nog and then bring that um, up on the brow bone. Uh, we're gonna alternate between that fluffy brush and the fluffy crease brush. Make sure everything is evened out and perfectly blended. Now it's time to clean up everything. I used my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, concealer and then I'm just gonna blend everything out with a beauty blender. I'm kind of just cleaning up under the eyes and also uh, slightly highlighting. Then I'm gonna set everything and bake it with my airspun uh, powder. Then with a small pencil brush, we're gonna go back into Central Perk and line the lower lash line, smudging it into the lash line. Um, and using eggnog latte in the inner third and then just kind of go over everything including the upper lash line. With the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero, I'm going to line the lower and upper waterline. Then I'm just going to curl my lashes and using Benefit's Their Real Mascara, I'm going to generously coat my top and bottom lashes. And what I like to do always with any look is um, take the same highlighter that I've used on my face and kind of bring it also in the inner corner and then just a little bit on the high points of my brow. Just to kind of tie it all in together. So I didn't use the cold brew, which I had used initially when I kind of played around with this palette. Um, it doesn't really transfer on the lid. It has so much glitter that, you know, it would be nice if you sort of press it over something, another color, but I'll show you. Instead of swatching, kind of like 
gonna dab it with my finger and you'll have a more realistic idea of what it looks like. So it's not as dark at all. It's kind of a very sheer color under with some very chunky glitter. So it could be nice, but I just didn't like it. Initially, I wanted to top the eggnog latte shade with that just to like make it a little bit more interesting, but it just looked, you know, muddy and gross. So I decided to omit that shade in this look. So that goes to show you, you know, when I did the unboxing, um, swatching it, I thought, oh my God, it's amazing. But um, sometimes when you play around, you sort of discover little flaws and such. So that would be my one complaint with this palette. The cold brew shade is just, So that's my look for the eggnog latte palette. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps a lot. Also make sure you subscribe, the button below. Um, I will be having tutorials for the next two palettes this week as well. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. Bye.